Ruby here, how is all getting on today? Right, so it's Monday, it's my favourite day of the week. A lot of people hate Mondays, I love it, it's my day off from college. It's the day I get to sit out here, come out to the hobby shed, I get to sit down and I get to do a bit of work. Well, by the time I start fucking around the house and other things like that, I eventually get to come out here and do a bit of work. So usually, I commit a lot of time on Monday to doing some hobby work. So I try and get a lot of work done, try and get stuff recorded and then put it out for you guys as well so I can share what I'm doing and everything. Uh, share my work with you and get feedback and everything. So the aim for it is trying to get a video out every Monday, but it's probably going to be Tuesday when this video gets put out. God, I'm such a lazy bollocks. <laughs> but um, it's been okay today. It's been, I've been busy enough. I have been working on the two gutter runners for my Mordheim warband. Uh, my Skaven warband. I shouldn't say Mordheim warband. I should say Skaven warband. Because it's, it's a mixture of the new and the old. Um, but it's Carnation. I have been working on the two of them. They're about 90% done. Um, still have the base to work on. That shouldn't take too long. And I've had a lot of trouble painting the capes and their robes because they're black. Maybe I really should have practiced on another model before I really just dove straight in about painting black. Um, because it sounds easy, but it's not. The thing was, I was using... What was I using? The abandoned black paint, that one, very quickly. It's not going to focus, but still. Abandoned black. It, it comes out glossy when it's done, so I tried to dry brush some grey over it. I couldn't put too... I, I, I would have done the cape and the robes on them grey, because it's very kind of dark, uh, clan y type of colour. But the walls are standing on, they're going to be a grey colour of wall anyway. So grey is going to be very prominent on the base, so I didn't really want to do it too much on the model itself. So once the black went on, it was glossy. I think I wanted. I think I put a black wash over it. That darkened it down a bit. I took the glass off it. It was really nice looking down. Tried dry brushing some grey on it. Mm, came out a bit chalky looking. It was all right. But the funny thing is that worked was uh, if I can find it. Uh, 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 oh, here we are. So I can't even think of the name of it. Seraphim. Seraphim. Yeah, Seraphim. Jesus Christ, I can't even talk. I can't even say the words. Seraphim Se Sepia. Whatever that one is. I'll put the name of it in the link anyway. Or in the, in the description below. I put that over the grey. Because I didn't want to use... Uh, Devlin... Or not Devil and Mud. Jesus Christ, I can't... I'm, I'm going back about five years now. Devil and Mud. I didn't want to put Agrax or shit over it. Because it would have darkened it way too much. It would have looked a bit... Brownish and dirtyish. And I really didn't want to do that. Uh, none and oil would have been too dark altogether, so I just it was there. It was unopened. I I bought it. I never used it, so I thought why not? Um, and it gave well, on one of them. You'll see it when I show you in a few seconds. Uh, on one of them, it gave it this kind of tingy, yellowy, dark, almost nearly dark green type of color effect on a certain part of the cape, and it turned out so cool looking on one of them. The other one, not as one, and the kind of the smaller guy, not as much. I think if I might do another another wash on top of some parts, it might come out a bit more prominent. But kind of from painting the arse paint in black that I really didn't like it, it turned out really cool in the end by just experimenting a little bit and taking a chance. The other things were the flesh on the Good Runners. Oh, what was I using? Bugman's Glow, I think. If I can find I have all these paints next to me. Yeah, Bugman's Glow. Oh. It's the only kind of base skin tone that I have that's like a skin type of colour, like the pinkish kind of colour. And I went over it with the right and flesh, yeah, that was fine. I went over it with Kisle flesh, I think. Or Kadian flesh tone, sorry. And that was a bit iffy. That I've never been successful with Kadian flesh tone. It it's it's so it's it's a weird paint. And I, it can't be just the pot I have. It comes. It doesn't. I don't know. It's like it leaves streaks. No matter how much I tin it, if I don't tin it, if I put two tin layers on, it kind of looks a bit better, but still not great. 
So on one of them, you'll see it, you'll see that kind of lighter skin tone. But on the other one, uh, I think I put an extra wash of Rake and Flesh Shed on them, and then I went back over them with the Bugman's Glow, uh, which which was okay. The skin looks a bit, it's kind of like a plasticky looking color. It's hard, can I hardly explain without showing up, but you'll see it. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm happy with how they are so far. There's a few little small details on them to finish up, like the weapons, some of the metal parts. Uh, the teeth need to be finished, and then obviously the base as well, you'll see that as well. So I'm going to switch down to the two other models in a second, but one of the things I wanted to talk about was the last video I did... Mm, uh, mm. Storm Fiends. I had to look at the box to remember the name. Storm Fiends. I keep calling them War Fiends and I know that's not right. Storm Fiends. I had three of them. They were the big guys. They are awesome. What am I going to do with them? I, I obviously I've got to paint them and all that stuff, but like I kind of I like to have everything in coherency. Um, it's hard for me just to paint a random like three man unit without having them to fit into something else. Like so, since they're so big and they're 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 awesome. They really are. They're awesome models. They're really nice looking. I'm going to try and fit him in or fit the three of them around with my Tankle and Bone Ripper model which is on this huge big circular base and um, because there's, they are smaller than them but these guys look like they could be uh, Tankle's henchmen so what I'm thinking is there's a couple of metal parts on Tankle or Bone Ripper so if I try and paint like he has like the shoulder pad here on this side and um, maybe the parts on he has like a like a metal armor part on his leg. All them type of bits. If I paint them all the same color across tank or across bone ripper and on the tree star and things, um, and then put now the 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 idea for uh, tank and bone ripper is to cut one of the big lumps of pieces from the garden of more, making a big massive huge scenic base. Um, and do that for him because this base, uh, the base is like way too big but I had this idea of if I fill it up with terrain it'll be a big massive uh, showpiece it'll look awesome uh, centerpiece that's what it is so if I do the same with the tree then don't put them on like huge big bases but, but do the bases very similar with like the rubbles of the garden of more and kind of place the tree guys around the front of them it'll look awesome they'll be cool little henchmen uh, well, three big henchmen to fit along with them. So that's, I'm going to get started on that after I finish the warband, which is probably not going to be for a while. But I've been blabbing on long enough. Let's have a look at the two gutter runners and make sure to let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Okay, so here they are. As you can see, they are pretty close to being finished. Um, after all the base cuts and everything got done, I'm finally starting to be happy with how they're starting to turn out. Um, let me start off with the taller guy first. Um, and I want to start off with this guy because... Let me zoom in actually first. Well, obviously I've just, just done the base coats on the bases. Um, I'm not going to focus on them too much. But uh, now, first things first, straight away you can see the two different skin tones between the tail and the skin, or the tail and the rest of the skin. Um, it's something I've never done before. I usually keep, keep the tails the same color. Um, but the difference here is it kind of goes from one extreme to the other, where it's kind of like pale pinkish flesh to kind of almost purple. Um, so I would like to work out uh, kind of an in-between color about in about this part here near the beginning of the tail just to kind of blend it in nicely um, but I think that uh, it looks oh, it almost looks like a worm hanging out of him but uh, it looks pretty cool uh, if I can get that r nice blend uh, for the colors in the middle of it I think it'll look um, a lot nicer now as you can see I went with the black that I was talking about earlier before and right here on this bottom part uh, where it's most prominent, you can kind of see that. I know the light's a bit bright. It kind of sheen. There's a nice shine off it there, but you can kind of see that dirty yellowy kind of green. It's almost like a like a toxic waste type of color. And 
it turned out so cool it looks like they're wearing dirty robes um, and that's a brilliant look for kind of clan action guys you can kind of see it a bit up on this part of the robe as well maybe not as much on the camera um, there is a part of it on the top of the robe here because when I was dry brushing the grey on it started to look a little bit kind of chalky a little bit dusty looking on it which is okay well I wasn't really wanting to go for that but that's how it was turning out um, but once I put that wash over it kind of dampened it a bit which is a good thing and it turned out with this kind of amazing yellowy green colour which I'm really happy with I'm going to have to make a note of that in my notebook how to get that colour again because it's really awesome and um, this guy is the one with the Bugman's Glow uh, skin tone colour so it's kind of you can kind of see that kind of plastic looking kind of colour off it which it's okay it's nice like you know I don't mind it Um he is almost done. I'm trying to think. Is there anything I have to finish it? I want to get the blend in that tail. Um, and obviously I have to put the chain in his hand here. In his left hand. Sticking out. But he is. Yeah he's about 90% done. Maybe put a bit more. A uh, little bit more detail on the eye. Maybe like a wash. Just to try and dampen it a little bit. Just a small little bit. And maybe try and get some details in on this ear here as well. But other than that, he's looking like he's going to be finished pretty soon, and I'm really happy with him. Uh, super cool looking uh, model, even before I did anything to it. It's an awesome model. But uh, the other guy, now this is the guy, oh god, he's, he's so much lower. This is the guy with the, I think it's, is it the Kislev Flesh I said? Cadian Flesh Tone. Now I don't know whether it's going to come up on camera too much it doesn't look too bad now after it's really after 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 I'm, I'm just sitting here repeating myself saying after after but once it's dried it doesn't look too bad I know it's a bit bright to shine off the lights and um, so maybe it's a, maybe it's one of those paints I need to just practice a bit more to get used to it Um, I really like how the kind of the scars on his arm or on his hand turned out because that was literally just two washes placed in there. And I didn't really want to overdo it. But it turned out really nice. Um, again I went with the kind of seraphim sepia colour on this guy on the robe. It didn't turn out as good. You can really see it kind of up here in the upper part of the robe. Um, but it's not as prominent and not as strong. But you can kind of see it blending around the edges of it. Which looks really nice. Um, again with the tail. Now I think I made a mistake with the tail. I did two different washes. One of them was. If I can find it over here. I'm pretty sure one of them was Leviathan Purple. And the other one was uh, Karaburg Crimson. Now I'm pretty sure they're the same type of colours. They're two kind of part Well. Leviathan purple is like pure purple. Uh, Caraburg crimson. It is purple but I think there's a little bit more of a red tint to it and it's not as heavy. Um, but again I like the tail the way it looks. I need to add like I need to highlight it and everything the same with the other guy. I forgot to mention that. But I want to find that nice blend kind of in the middle here as well. Now one of the things I did different with this guy. Simply because the paint was dry. If you can see the base, the wall. You can see there is a bit of a wash there. And instead of going with just nulling oil like I would have. I need to kind of scrap them circles out as well, scratch them out, shit. Um, instead of just going with nulling oil, what I did was I went over the whole grey part of the wall with Drake and Half and Nightshade. That, it's a blue shade, it's really nice, you put it on metals, it's, it's hard to see, but it just does that tiny little bit different, that little tiny tint of blue. Uh, that it kind of sticks out just the smallest little bit it's really nice you might be able to see it on camera I'm not too short you can kind of see some of it when you move it around you can see that little kind of blue kind of shade in it and that's because like these guys are assassins they're going to be running around at night time so I'm wanting it to have a kind of like a nighttime look on that when you have like the blue kind of light from the moon shining down that type of thing so I might do another wash over it just to make the blue a little bit more prominent and I'll see how I get on from there. So that is the two of these guys. They're going to be like I'll, the next time, the next day I get to get out here and paint they're going to be finished. Um, so but I have been kind of just tipping away on the side 
while they're drying on two other guys, which are still in a very early stage. I'm just lower this camera down. Now these two guys are the black scale. And these are like the heavily armored, not heavily armored, but they're more armored than normal clan Eshin guys. So don't expect nothing great here, simply because they are still in the stages of getting all their base coats on them. Uh, I think I showed these before on camera, so it's just I went to like the lead belt or metal again with the black robes to keep all the colors in continuity. In continuity? In continuity? I don't know. I can't pronounce the word. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, but they stick with the same colors. I like got the black robes and everything like that. So nothing too much done with them. Just all the basic stuff, really. Um, and these were based with. Uh, the skin color. Oh man, these colors are just slipping out of my head. Bugman's claw. So I can kind of experiment with these two a little bit now that I haven't done any washes on them yet. So what I might do is experiment with washes on them to see what it looks like after. Because I don't want the skin colors all to be the very same. I don't want them all to be identical. Like you know, I want them to stick out individually as well. So um, that's been it for this update. This another uh, blog vlog entry, but I've made decent enough progress today. I've said it a few times before. I'm one of the slowest painters there is, but I enjoy painting. Okay. Um, but these two are turning out really cool for now. I'm really happy with them. So hopefully I can get the uh, the bases done then in the next painting session. Uh, they really shouldn't take too long. I should be able to get them done. Uh, pretty quick and then just a few little things to tip off try and find a nice blend for the tail colors and that could be it then just f finish a few little things and move on to the next round of guys for the war band then but anyway if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button and comment below let me know what you guys think i love getting feedback it's the best part and uh, keep an eye on the blog i'll be putting up like really high high definition pictures from for uh, these guys up on that it's well worth looking at because the pictures i have a light box i have a decent camera now so the pictures come out really nice so uh, make sure to check that out the links to that in the description below but uh once again thanks for watching i uh, appreciate it make sure to like button comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next video